Ninja Kiwi, uh, there haven't been any TTD towers in the past three months. Can you add some? Uh, fine. Let me just eat my prongles. You kind of look like the fan from Five Nights at Freddy's. You do realize that Freddy doesn't have copyright over fans, right? Vroom. My iron body can survive your reverse card. Can you just please leave? Avengers Assemble, the threat is back. Are you talking about DDT's stink? No Ninja Kiwi have added in Toilet Tower Defense Towers again. Gosh, I hadn't heard that brain rot name in a while. Yes, and now there's a fan tower that pushes us off the map and that kills us. Don't worry, guys. My iron body will save us all. Okay, that's kind of reasonable, but I'm still questioning it. Are you the mentally slow one that the other towers have been talking about? No, I'm not. I'm the iron body, mind and spirit. Wow. You're even worse than how the others described you? Vroom! See, you can't push my iron body since it's too heavy for you. Vroom! <gasps> Bro really thinks iron is better than everything. Guys, my iron body was heavy enough for its first blow, but when it actually tried, it blew me away. Dang, you actually survived something. That's new for you. Shut up, I'm camo and you easily die. Dude, I've literally got 35 times more health than you. Okay, that's enough arguing. As little as I want to say it, DDT actually helped us by showing that the fan's blow can't blow too heavy objects. How much did DDT pay you to say that? Moab, don't tell him that it's $500. I wouldn't have told him, but you just exposed yourself. Nah, you guys are just hallucinating. Yeah, okay, buddy. So anyways, we should put something heavy on our heads. Why don't we just use an anvil for that? Yeah, sure, but how can we get the money to afford that? I've got an idea. A few inches later. Yeah, DDT, just go over to Mr. Steve. He's got a gift for you. Yay, I love gifts. <laughs> Finally, his iron body is gonna be useful for once. A few moments later. It's really hard walking with an anvil on my head, so let's hope it was worth it. Vroom! Wait, no, I'm not off the map yet. Wait, no, why is it so slippery? <coughs> Guys, it barely didn't work. Wait, what, DDT? How are you back? Dude, we forgot about the fact he can respawn. Gosh darn you, Ninja Kiwi and all your prongles! My iron body never dies, bro, you know that. Alright, well, I barely didn't survive because the edge of the map is slippery and I slipped off. Okay, well, why don't we send out round 63? That's like 100 pieces of ceramic that's pretty heavy. I don't know where you got that fancy new voice BFB, but that sounds like a good idea. Ten seconds later. We're the round of death and no little tower like you can beat us. Yeah, okay, yep, yep. Vroom. <laughs> Guys, it just did a little vroom and knocked us off the map. Bruh, come on, what's heavier than 122 ceramics? Did you guys think of anything? Cheeseburger. Wait a minute, Bad, how much do you weigh? Come on, dude, don't fat shame him. DDT, can you please shut up and let the adults talk? I think I weigh about five tons right now. Dude, why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, I was too busy buying stuff in the BTD6 shop using code Mr. Ender. Okay, never mind, that's a valid reason. Why don't you go try to beat that fan guy, though? Vroom! Okay. Vroom! Wait, what? Vroom! Why aren't you moving? Oh, don't worry, I'll move for you. Yo, it literally wasn't even able to move me. Come on, dude, stop lying. We all know you can't be more powerful than my iron body. Can you please just shut up? Meanwhile... Dad, some stupid big purple blimp was able to beat my vroom vrooms. I'll teach that purple booger a thing or two. Since when are boogers purple? Oh, the little guy called in his daddy to beat us? Vroom. Yeah, cool, I was able to beat it, but it brought in his dad, and he easily vroomed me off the map. Bruh, since when do towers have dads? How else are they gonna be born? There's decoding machine for that. Don't worry, guys. Don't you dare think about saying that. My iron body will be able to beat you. How you stupid iron can't beat stronger iron like me? <laughs> Finally, we've gotten rid of that iron dumbo. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you forgot that I can respawn. Do you have, like, plot armor or something since we can never ever get rid of you? Nah, I've got iron body armor. <laughs> okay, I've used up all my rage. Now how can we make ourselves heavier? Maybe instead of putting weight on top of us, we should get an anchor for under us. Hmm, okay, I know a place where I can get such a thing. Hey, Mr. Krabs, can I get an anchor? Sure thing, boy, but you're gonna have to replace SpongeBob for a couple of days. This is getting annoying. Three days later. Bruh, how is a Moab gonna beat me when a bad didn't? Vroom! Two thousand years later. Ooh. Okay, no, this thing isn't gonna work. Ooh. 
Yeah, so the anchor did its job, but the thing was that I literally couldn't move because of the infinite blowing of the fan. Crap, dude, what can we do? I've got an idea. What is it? Wait, no, I forgot it. Bruh. Guys, why don't we get some boss balloons to help us? Oh, crap. Yeah, that's a good idea. Vortex stopped playing VR Girlfriend Simulator. The toilet tower defense towers are back. <laughs> How the heck did you know what I was playing? Well, you're a loser, so it was kind of obvious what you'd be playing. <laughs> Anyways, can you come help me with a fan titan? Yeah, sure. Wow, you're a big boy. Vroom! That's fine, my wind goes through such shields too. Vroom! <gasps> Guys, it somehow found a way to blow the wind through my shield. Dang, it's stronger than I thought. Can I go back to playing Yandere Girlfriend Simulator VR 2024 now? Yes, you fat soy boy. Did anyone say fat? I wasn't really looking for you, but it doesn't hurt to have you try to beat it, too. I weigh 100 tons, you stupid fan. Vroom! <gasps> I'm gonna need some throw medicine, that stuff hurts. Yeah, it barely blew me off, but it did succeed. Wait, did you guys hear what it said? Yeah, something about throat medicine. What if we try to tire out its throat so it can't do the vroom anymore? Holy crap, Moab, you're a genius. Blunarius, how many siblings do you have? Eight, and they're just as fat as me. All right then, can you go with all of them and try to have it tire out its throat? Sounds like a plan. Ten seconds later. Vroom! <gasps> Come on, dude, another one. Vroom! <gasps> another one. Vroom! Vroom! V v v Dude, come on, my throw is dead now! Ninja Kiwi, you blues manipulated my throw and now I can't even do my attack properly! L plus ratio plus eat sand plus ravioli. Hey, what kind of a phone do you use? A Samsung, why? No, dude, I've got PTSD from that alarm, please stop it. Guys, there's now an alarm clockman guy, and he uses the fact that we have PTSD from our alarms to kill us. Bruh, since when are clocks so sophisticated? Don't worry, guys. My iron ears will be able to survive the alarm. Your iron stupidity is beyond describable. Get it on, boy. My iron ears will handle it. Okay. You see, my iron ears survived it, you stupid alarm. Wait, no, why that one? No, stop it. Oh! My iron ears were able to survive the first one, but when it got my one on, I died. Oh wow, what a shocker. All right, well, if it's because of the sound, why don't we get some earplugs with noise cancelling? Hello, I'm your local spying Alexa, and I'm here to sell you these earplugs for $9.99. Thank gosh Alexa listens to us cause I don't know what we would do without her. Yeah, who cares that she knows every bit of information we've shared with each other. By the way, DDT, your iron body is trash. You're made out of some cheap plastic, you can't be talking. A few inches later. What are those orange things? I don't know what you just said, so go eat sand. Dude, why can I hear it through the earplugs? <laughs> Boys, the alarm is so loud, so even when I have my earplugs on, I can hear it. Hmm, I use a hammer on my alarm when I don't feel like getting up. So maybe we can use that here too. How many freaking phones do you have? 598 broken ones. A few moments later. Wait, what? Dude, I'm a tower, so I can't die unless the player sells me. Bruh, okay, just please don't turn on the alarm. I'll leave by myself. <gasps> Guys, it's got tower armor, so it can't die unless the player sells him. Hmm, why don't we try to bribe the player then? At this point, I'm down to try anything. A hey, player. Can you please sell the alarm clock, man? If you do that, we'll give you the DDT and also $1,000 and also a free meal at McDonald's. What the heck are these Moabs doing here? And what is that language? It's English, you dumb idiot. Free McDonald's for you if you sell alarm clockman. What the heck are these Moabs doing here? And what is that language? Okay, so apparently the player can't understand English. What other chances do we have of beating that stupid clock? Guys, I want ice cream. Bruh. So we get beat by it because we use alarms. But what if we get someone who doesn't use an alarm? Crap, that's really good, but who doesn't use an alarm? Wait a minute. I think we're all thinking of the same guy. Yeah, it's Vortex. I think it's better if you just shut your iron mouth up. 
Blunarius, get up, it's 2 p.m. Wait, what? But it's early. Why are you waking me up in the middle of my sleep? There's an alarm clockman tower, and it uses our trauma from the alarm sounds to beat us. But since you don't use an alarm, it should do nothing to you. Oh, uh, okay, but don't ever wake me up in the middle of my sleep like that again. Ten seconds later. Oh, we've got a fat one, it seems. Okay. Yes, that's my whole personality. Okay, you aren't a Samsung user, you're probably a Xiaomi user. Okay, maybe you're a Huawei user then? Only option left is that you have an iPhone. What kind of freaking alarm do you use? I've tried them all out. I use sleep. Ninja Kiwi! Shut up! <gasps> Once you pop, that's great. Since when can you speak? Go my spotty minions, go attack that fat blimp. Bruh, I'm not Blunarius. <gasps> Guys, there's another clock guy, but this one puts clock spiders on the track, and he also called me fat. Don't worry, guys, my iron body can easily survive some little spiders. I so want to believe that you'll succeed, but at the same time, I know that you won't. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody as ruthless. Your little clock spiders do nothing to my impeccable iron defense. So you're the yapper they've been talking about. <coughs> you see your little clock? Spiders are useless. There's no point trying to beat the iron body. You deserve a professional yapster award. Boys, it took two spiders to kill me instead of one. Hmm, okay, let's see if it can kill the bad then. Wow, you're a big boy. <laughs> Thank gosh, I've got infinite of those. Okay, boys, so I think it's the venom of the spiders that kill us since I had way more health than required to tank those. So we gotta somehow get immune to spiders' venom. 12 seconds later. Hey Steve, can we go in your spider farm for a little bit? Yeah, sure, just don't break anything. 10 seconds later. Two hours later. Why does it hurt so much? You've got 1,000 spider bites on you. Of course it's gonna hurt. 24 hours later. Boys, I've healed finally, and now I can drink spider venom like water. Why are you still here then? Go and beat it. Oh no, I'm so scared of your spiders, I'm gonna die from them, that's so sad. Did you drink or something? <coughs> Wait, what? <coughs> Dude, what did you become Spider-Man or something? <coughs> Yo, what's good, I'm upgraded Titan Clockman, aka the strongest Titan in toilet tower defense. Okay, nope, I've done enough today, I'll go watch some Dan TDM. Coward. Meanwhile... Ninja Kiwi, Telenthric hasn't fed me for five weeks. I'm starving. Can you please give me some food? If you do that, I'll code for your game. Okay, sure, here you go. 